Good morning, guys. Today it's uh, raining as usual, but the temperature has dropped. I had to turn the fan low, and it was off. It was off a minute ago. And uh, yesterday, um, it was so so. I read one of the Chinton's old comic, The Broken Year, once more, and it is amazingly action packed. I mean, in a span of few pages, there is a lot of progression in the story, and this is very different from some of other Hardy's work, such as, say, The Crab with the Golden Claws. So, there is a uh, there is his brilliance that he can fit so much of story into so little. And it was my first book of Tintin I've ever read and yeah, then I got to have like twenty or twenty one books. So it was a lot of fun. And besides that mm, Besides that, I was uh, trying to catch up some news. Uh, Salman Rushdie uh, got stabbed. It was in the news, and it's uh, very unfortunate that, th that these things keep on happening. I think uh, some training, like diversity training, should be initiated from the school itself. I mean, in a more balanced way, and we should have. And uh, I think that as my mom does many of this housework, we should have also housework as a part of our curriculum because it's uh, getting too hard to get a good uh, cleaning guy or girl these days. So that's all. Let's choose a topic for today. And today's topic can be... art. So what is an art? So art is something that has aesthetic values, that has beauty, that has um, purity and it has truth in them. For example, the communist posters that you see in many communist countries often uh, has unrealistic viewpoints and things that are not true being depicted. Uh, I read an answer by Susanna Viljanen from Finland about this and uh, she can elaborate more there. She has elaborated uh, quite a bit. And when there is no truth, there is uh, no art. And then we have the conception of beauty. And this conception of beauty uh, is been, has been changed a lot in the earlier Indian history you can see that uh, beauty contained uh, themes such as uh, bare, bare body of both the genders and this got changed and never came back in the Indian form of the art so that is one conception of beauty that got changed throughout art and also after the world wars, as I quote from Susanna, uh, not quote, I just um, tell you about her views that after the world wars, uh, the artists and other people got a reality shock that life can be very uh, fleeting and very uh, troublesome. So the art also got changed in that day, after that war. and. Um, Finally, we also have this conception of aesthetic value, and this has also changed a lot uh, over the years. And uh, in the after the Renaissance, there was a standard for aesthetics, and it was true to life form. But then the photographic camera came along, and uh, art got liberated from this uh, aesthetic value that is tied to photogenicity, and we got a lot of new schools such as uh, this. Picasso's Cubism, um, 
uh, and and many others. So that's all for today about art. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you again, and bye bye.